So the purpose of today's training was to test our LEAP, which is our law enforcement augmented patrol. That LEAP squad, they'll come out and not necessarily take over the scene, but they'll take over the security of it and any aspects that my traffic or MPI, whatever they need, they can help facilitate that piece. It's good training from the, the supervisor all the way down to private where they're doing the 1594, logging people in and out. My role today was, uh, I was actually one of the squad leaders uh, for the two fatalities for the soldiers. So my role was supposed to be, I was supposed to go towards the actual site uh, the soldiers were in. I was supposed to interfere, try to contaminate it. You know, I'm a concerned squad leader. My whole traffic squad is out here. This is great training for the, the incoming traffic personnel to get this training in before they do actually have to have it live. This is good training for them to see, see it, to kind of get the seriousness of the incident itself and you know see where they play into this. Real world, obviously, emotions will get to you faster than anything else. You know, you have your soldiers that, you know, are now possibly fatalities. You'll want to be there. Um, take a step back and let the professionals do their job. MP, CID, uh, this is the first time I'm actually going to be seeing it, but we have mortuary assistants out here is helping as well. Um, you know, fantastic people that are doing the right thing. And so take a minute, disconnect yourself from the situation. I know it's, it'll be very difficult if this ever happens to you. And God forbid, we never want this to happen to any soldiers or anything like that. Let the professionals do their job. Take a step back and just <laughs> watch. In all honesty, getting to see everyone do all their pieces and everything, marking everything, they did a fantastic job, honestly. They took care of my coworkers really well, Sergeant Tang, you know, injury, they did really well. King Cannon had a leg injury and I saw them brace him up, get him in the ambulance. That was really good to see. They did a fantastic job, honestly. <laughs> so if you come across a scene like this in a real world situation, if you do not see any type of uh, emergency vehicles out here, give it, make sure you call the PMO or 911. Call that number and make sure that somebody's responding.